Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Lefeli. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing the, uh, how I created this stylized uh, little forest um, using Blender 2.92 and Blender 2.83. Okay, the whole forest um, is made up of three different trees. And the trees is procedurally generated using nodes, uh, using an add-on called M3 nodes. And so I it's super slow at the moment. I'm just gonna reduce the number. Okay, so the tree is actually being appended and linked from different Blender file, and this is Blender 2.83 that's actually generating the tree. And I'm just using the simple uh, old oak tree presets. I can change it into different tree. And I can load it and create a tree. And if I save this one and reload the other file, it's gonna update accordingly. Okay, so that's uh, basically the plan. And I have three different blend files for each tree, and I simply save it. And this guy is loading all the tree and appending. Oh, actually, I'm appending from library, but I, I should have used link. So anyway, the so once the tree is being loaded, I put it inside the collections, and then I'm using geometry nodes to scatter the tree. In this case, I'm using a plane, of which I already draw a weight pane. Oh, my blender is super slow at the moment. But yeah, I painted my plane ground and then I'm using that weight inside geometry nodes. So inside geometry nodes, I'm simply using the density of the group uh, paint weight, assign the density, that number value that you, you need, and then fill it with a scale and then randomize this rotations and the scale. I randomize the rotations in the z-axis only and I'm using this collection from these trees. As for the shader itself for the tree, I'm using this fancy shader from Zen shaders. So it's called stylized shaders for render. It's actually really cool um, shaders and once you apply that into the trees, you can get something like this. So the whole process is basically pretty straightforward. As for the shader of the trees, it's looking like this. There are two, three different versions, shadeless BSDF, or just the one with the light preview. If you want something that's really stylized, you can use this and preview it, preview it on cycles. Yeah. So you have stylized trees. Let's try shadeless once more. For every tree, because this is instance objects, it's a uh, it's very efficient. Although my computer is super slow, but in reality. It can be faster because I'm recording as well. So, object info. Log into random into Q. Color into shadow color. and I have more random color of the tree. Yeah, I, I really like these stylized shaders. There's a lot uh, you can do with it. Let's go back to the plane. Back to geometry nodes. Oops. 
and adjust the step the density well it's super slow we might actually be able to change the resolutions of the tree as well so there you go that's a uh, how I bring together some assets from older, older version of Blender because the M3 add-on requires Blender 2.83 so this add-on is really cool it has a lot of options for for you to make trees like with a trunk, branching actually the tree can also have um, leaves and that can make even more realistic trees um yeah so there you go that's a just a quick breakdown how i created this colorful stylized forest so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye